Subscribe to the channel. Teachers of Reddit, have you ever seen a student come back after a break, i.e. spring break, Christmas break, completely different, what were they like? I'm not a teacher, but a rather good friend of mine, K, took a sabbatical from school for a year. It was meant to be family vacation for a couple months and a few more months of rediscovering life for himself, his little sister and the parents. The family vacation went horribly wrong. His kid sister died of pneumonia, and the parents couldn't keep the marriage together after that. The divorce was fairly amiable, but there was a lot of trauma for K, which he just couldn't deal with. He came back to school a year later as planned, but a completely different kid. Where he used to be boisterous and a ball of reckless energy, he was quiet, subdued and even seemed scared. I don't know if it was pure luck, but the school kids were kind to him, and three years later, going back to college, he was almost healed. We're out of college now, and still really close friends. He doesn't talk about those years of his life. Yes unfortunately. Star student. Wonderful to be around. Very funny. After break she's sullen. Dresses differently. New friends. Avoids adults. Been in and out of trouble. And skipping class to get high or smoke cigarettes in the parking lot. When I finally had a chance to get a talk with her, she told me in not so many words she had been raped at a party pretty severely. I couldn't do much given I only had her for one semester, and I wish there was more I could do, or offer to chat with her about her problems, but it's pretty clear she wants to avoid those problems for a while. It's not healthy in the long run, but constantly being asked by adults to talk about it isn't either. I give her guitar lessons for free after school every now and then just to help her get her mind off of things. Had a first grader whose brother had died. She had been an outgoing, bubbly kid. Came back a sobbing mess she would literally lay on my lap and just sob. Not me, but a friend of mine had a student who was absolute misery to deal with. Just a real jerk, constantly disruptive, blatantly rude, etc. Over break, the guy's mom got the organ transplant she needed and all of a sudden this kid is engaged and invested in his education talking about his future, asking questions, calling other kids out for not paying attention. Just a completely new wonderful person. Breast enhancement, 16 year old. I would love to say I did not notice, but I did, and she was not bashful about disclosing what happened to anyone who would listen. Not a teacher, but in my 8th grade year a girl had a brain aneurysm over Christmas break. Thankfully, she survived. Was out of school for close to a year. I think she came back before Christmas break freshman year, but I'm not sure. She was a lot different. Her hair was just starting to grow back, she walked with a limp, and her speech was still a bit slow cause she had to relearn everything. I remember they had a water jug in the front office, where you could donate money for her parents, and it felt like once a month or so they'd have purple for Bella days, where we'd be asked to wear her favorite color to show our support. I remember buying a purple shirt, and stealing my parents spare change, just to help out any way I could. Graduation was very emotional, because she was still in the hospital, so they had her little sister accept her degree in her place. We had purple balloons. I mean we were just kids, it was a small school, she was very popular, and few of us had seen anything like this. I mean I remember when a kid who was set to graduate high school, died in a horrific car crash, when we were all in 6th grade. I know he had a cousin or two in the middle school. I remember coming to school the next day, to join my class in a group hug cause our homeroom teacher was overwhelmed during morning announcements, when they announced his death. She'd been very close to him. They dedicated a tree to him over at the high school. We are just like that. Not a teacher, but a friend of mine left around Thanksgiving break to get brain surgery to get a tumor removed. He returned months later and didn't really recognize anyone. Couldn't remember a lot of things and acted manlier than before. I befriended him again and when we were talking about boys he looked at me weird when I expected him to say something, which I just thought he didn't find the guy attractive. He then said alright well see you later, I have to go pick up my girlfriend. I forgot to mention, months before the break he came out to me and a few of his friends as gay. I was so confused and never told him he had came out to us before. Edit, he is openly gay now after high school ended, so it's all good. 
not a teacher, but back in 10th grade I had a friend who left for a few months because he was a suicidal mess. When he came back he was completely different. He was hyper and was smiling all the time though having dead looking eyes. He had been taking like 10 pills a day. A year later he has been slowly shortening the pill usage and he is slowly becoming his old self but not as interested in any of the old activities we used to do together. I work in an elementary school. One of my students was a bit of a turd for first and second grade, the grades he was in my class. He wasn't mean or horrible, but more of a troublemaker. He was the one who would accidentally get paint on the walls, or blurt out funny answers or knock over a pile of books, or whatever, usually to see what would happen. But at the start of his third grade year, he was completely changed. All of those mischievous behaviors were gone, and he was set on the straight and narrow. After a week or so I finally found out it was because his little sister had started school and he wanted to set a good example for her. My mom works for the U.S. Department of Labor and is contracted to work for a program that allows high school dropouts, juvenile delinquents, and just down on their luck kids the opportunity to earn their choice of a high school diploma or JED. They also graduate the program with a trade and a guaranteed job. Since the age range at her particular facility has been getting younger and younger, it's especially stressful. Most of her students are 16 years old. Do you remember that student in class who always had to disrupt class, disrespect the teacher, and generally just do stupid shit? She has a classroom full of them. She has the 100 yard stare every day when she gets home from work. Everything is provided for the students, uniforms, meals, snacks, school supplies, dorms, and they even receive a small check every other week. If you've ever watched late night cable, or drive, Phil, you've probably heard this place mentioned. They have facilities all over the country. It is basically one step down from juvie and most kids don't really have a choice to be there. And then a few months ago, there was a boy placed in her class, who we will call Jay sad sad situation understandably he was heartbroken great kid but he totally withdrew threw all his effort out the window and darkness became his only personality tray every day when greeting him to her class my mom would say hello jay how are you doing this morning or nice to see you here this morning jay and his response was always can i just go crawl in a hole and die he asked her to buy him a bottle of blackmail polish to which she obliged, because she has a soft spot for him. After a week or two she realized it wasn't just a typical goth phase he was going through. She sent in multiple referrals to the psychiatrist on center, and he was given meds, and sent home on a two week break. It turns out the only reason he was at this facility was, because his mother remarried and his stepfather kicked him out. He had nowhere to go. When he returned from his break recently, my mom said that when he came through the door, he looked like a different person. He was smiling ear to ear. She asked him if he had a good time off, and he responded with I finally got to see my mama. Not a teacher here, but I saw this happen to someone who was my friend for 15 years. One Christmas, that's all it took for him to get into a downward spiral and fuck up his life. He invited his girlfriend over for one Christmas dinner, and she got into an argument with his parents. At the end of winter break, they've broken up, he got a haircut, he had hair like Kurt Cobain, became an alcoholic, and he now knows every cop in the city, because they all gave him a fine, or locked him up for one night. And that all happened in under two months. And I thought, that my life was a shit chow. The three of us used to be classmates in elementary. When I went to the elementary meetup about a month ago, I was fucking shocked that he didn't come, since he was a popular guy. I talked a little bit to my ex-classmates, and they all told me that his ex was a fine nice person and that there was nothing wrong with her it was all him. That breakup really fucked him up. We all agreed that his life went down to shit, as he had plans to go to the university. He had everything he could wish for, tons of money, big room, an attic to store all of his stuff in. He lived in a big family house with a huge garden and a pool, and now, he got kicked out by his parents. He lives in a shitty one bedroom apartment with his fiancée, works 12 hours a day, Monday Friday, and gets drunk a lot, and he's just 19. I think that there is still some chance for this guy to get fixed. I'm not a teacher, but a good friend of the kid. 
so a kid let's name Robert, acted like a real gangster, he was so cocky and a big ass. After he was suspended for breaking into multiple people's lockers and leaving unpleasant things in them. He came back all quiet, getting better grades than he was before and actually a good friend. When I asked him what happened he said, when I was walking home, after my suspension, being cocky like I always do, I got jumped by a person in a rival gang. He quit the gang. He actually went to the hospital for a broken nose, which made more sense, since he only had a two week suspension and he been out for a month. <laughs> Student came back super quiet. Her sister had committed suicide and she didn't want to get an absence. Another student was suddenly combative, snarky, and kind of a dick. I pulled him aside after class and the moment the last of the other students left, he broke down. His parents had kicked him out of the house because they found out he was gay. He apologized to me immediately and said he wouldn't act like a jerk again, but literally had no idea what to do. They also threatened to take his dog to the shelter because he couldn't find a home for it. A friend of mine took the dog. The student found a place to crash until he got a job and saved up some money. Teachers who pay attention know when something is off. I have a heartbreaking story every semester. Not a teacher and it wasn't mentally different. I was the student. To make a very long story short, I got facial reconstructive surgery and a chin implant over winter break. I had at least two teachers who didn't recognize me at first. It was weird, I don't think I looked that different. Not a teacher, but in 6th grade the jokester, boisterous guy in my class, was gone for a few weeks after his dad died. When he came back, he was just quiet, always looking out the window, or had his head on the table. I'm the student in this situation. I used to talk out with friends and get distracted, but now I'm the quiet gay kid that talks to no one and would prefer to be alone. Subscribe. Thanks for watching up go to Reddit. Try like and subscribe button if it's